What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to That Sounds Terrible. Today's episode, we're going to start the new year off with a new amp, and that's the Victory Super Kraken. Now, I've wanted a Kraken for quite a while, at least the VX50. Uh, I fell in love with the tone of it a couple years back, and it's always been one of those amps that, you know, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, and I just kind of never got around to it, and I always ended up chasing uh, other amps, but it worked out, and I got one in a trade. Um, but I do have the VX4 or V4 power amp, uh, the one with the solid state power amp built in. And down the road, I'll do a comparison to see how well it sounds to, compared to the tube amp. Um, but I want to say that the tube amp is just freaking phenomenal. Um, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I know in some of the other videos I've watched, uh, you know, over time, uh, I want to say it was Ribera had said, uh, it is based on the JCM900 and the 5150, uh, which to me is a little funny because I love the JCM900. Now, I have a 91 um, high gain dual reverb, it's the 4500, the 50 watt. Absolutely love my amp. Uh, you put the right boost in front of it and it just sings for days. And, you know, the internet doesn't believe that and that's, you know, whatever. But. I don't really like the 6505, and that's what I have. Uh, I know it's not quite the same, 5150, blah, blah, blah. It is the same, whatever. Um, you know, there's just something about that amp, you know, it just it doesn't vibe with me that well. Uh, so it's kind of funny because I, I really enjoy this Kraken so far, the Super Kraken. Uh, and so what we'll do is it does have a built-in boost, which is the, uh, they call it a preamp focus. Um, so we'll play with that on and off. And then um, I'm going to boost it with a Grim from This Heavy Earth because it is, in my opinion, probably my absolute favorite Tube Screamer style uh, pedal. I mean, it's perfect in every sense. I don't use it a whole lot, um, and it's only because I got one of the OGs uh, in full color. It's not the blackout one, and it's kind of set a standard for me for the Tube Screamer style pedals just because of the options. And I don't want to mess it up. I know that sounds dumb. I've got two. I got the blackout um, somewhere with the purple knobs. But anyways, uh, back on target, right? Uh, so we'll boost it with the Grim as well as the preamp focus. Um, now on the back of the amp, and I'll throw up a picture, uh, the back of the amp has a button that is called bass focus. And that really tightens up that low end on the amp. It's not quite as muddy. It's really tight. It's not quite as tight as uh, some of the other amps, I know my, my KR100 can get extremely tight. And it's nothing like that. Uh, but it, it sounds great. I mean, if you like a tight chug, man, that, it'll definitely push it in there. That was mostly geared towards uh, like the low uh, lower tuning extended range guys, um, which isn't me. I, I play in a half step down 99% of the time. Um, so for me, it doesn't really do a whole lot. It will tighten it up enough that it's very audibly different. And I won't do it in this video, but in the next video I plan on doing, I'm going to do a, a little bit different with it. Uh, we'll do some comparisons. So in the meantime, we're going to use my 2022 Paul Reed Smith. It is a S2 McCarty 594 uh, purple satin amethyst burst. Absolutely one of my favorite colors, uh, and it's one of my favorite guitars. Uh, we have the Arcane Ink 57 Experience pickup, so it's you know low output. And we're gonna push that into the Kraken, or the Super Kraken. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Uh, I got it on a tripod so that you guys can see a little bit better of the amp and kind of where we're gonna start and what we're gonna do. Uh, so it's got Master 1 and Master 2 for your volume control. I'm only gonna use Master 1. I have no need for the second one. Uh, it does have Gain 1 and Gain 2, so we'll play with those. It does have an effects loop. I'm not gonna touch that. Uh, but we will mess with the preamp focus and the clean channel, the crunch channel, and gain too, which is the high gain. Uh, and we'll kind of go from there. We'll just kind of fiddle around with it. Um, it is acting a little finicky today, but um, we'll see how well it does. So we'll start with the clean channel, and we'll go from there. And here we go. <laughs> Now we'll start with the clean channel.
All right, so what I like to do is roll the volume on the neck pickup down, almost all the way down, and I'll toggle up to it, and if it cleans up pretty good while you're distorting an amp, to me, that's a sign of a good reaction um, when you can roll the volume back, because I've got some amps that I can roll the volume down, and it's just, it's really crunchy still. Um, so what I've always done in, in, in my self-taught experience is that, if you, especially on single-channel amps, it really works that way. Uh, you roll your guitar back, you know, the volume, and it'll clean up really good. Then you've got something kind of special going on. You get a little bit more dynamics out of the amp that way. So here we go. Now I'm running the amp, um, I, I have my gate on, it's not in a four cable method, but I'm sure you can hear the hum already coming through. I mean, this thing's got an absolute crap ton of gain. Now I do go through an attenuator, so it's already dropping it down some. So here you go.
have it ladies and gentlemen that is the super kraken i really 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 enjoy the way this amp sounds with the grim um it sounds absolutely killer and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna do another comparison between uh some of the other pedals from from shay i do have a couple of other boosts uh, that i tried out with it and it sounds really good overall the amp takes pedals pretty well uh, so I've also got some new wiring to do this year. I have uh, a couple more things uh, with the wiring set up. I do have some bad cables. I've been getting a lot of ground, uh, ground loop hum. Uh, so thankfully for my Delisle amp switcher that I have a ground lift on the front. Um, but anyways, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I hope to help grow my skills as a person uh, pending uh, I have time off from work. So uh, the beginning of the year, it does get kind of busy for the company I work for. So uh, in the meantime, tell me what you guys think. Uh, this video was a little bit longer than normal, but uh, typically I, that means I enjoy it. So anyways, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Uh, leave me some suggestions, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one.